here plenty of time today so I'm gonna just show you guys some stuff here uh, lots of newer muscle cars kind of mixed in with the uh, some of the classics here a lot of Dodge cars here some Mustangs this uh, 90 Jeep Wrangler <laughs> Uh, yeah, there's a few cars. People have brought stuff for sale, uh, trying to maybe unload a car that they, they worked on and um, I don't want any more. But uh, anyway, uh, so let's take a look here. Some Ford Fairlane, there's some Camaros, different years, different models of the Camaro. Here's a the Judge Pontiac GTO. There's a lot of Camaros here. Different colors, of course. I do like the steel blue and white. That's a really good looking color on that car. The, the RS, the Camaros. That's a pretty nice little Jeep after a bit. Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme. Oh, there you go. Here's a. Hey, Bella, how are you? So, yeah, here's a hot rod here. Oh, here's a. Kind of like this one. It's 1970 uh, Chevy Malibu. And of course, Chevy brought back the Malibu name, but it does not look like anything like this. Yeah. Let's see what else we got down here. Oh, there we go. Look at this. There's a Jaguar. Yeah. All right, Richard. <laughs> there I am, right there. Hello. <laughs> You got your your face view. All right. Uh, yeah, but we're here for the cars, not so much me. But yeah, look at this nice uh, Jaguar uh, F-Type R. Yeah, some really nice cars here, definitely. Uh, a lot of Corvettes, some of the more recent models, but maybe there's going to be a few down here at the end. Um, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Uh, yeah, it was. I think it was a good idea coming back last night and uh, and just chilling last night and uh, coming over here today. Although uh, I had to kind of walk around and find the place because um, it wasn't where I thought it was going to be. But that's okay. I found it. And uh, yeah, some really good stuff here. I want to see if we can find a classic Corvette down here. I think there is one. You're welcome, Richard. <laughs> You're welcome. All right, here we go. Yeah. I found one. Here's a blue convertible. Here we go, right here. Look at that. Yeah, this guy's got lake pipes on his too. This is the oh wow, yeah, this is the big rock four twenty seven. Stingray from sixty six. It's a convertible.
Hello, Steve. Hey, Mick. How are you? Welcome, everybody. We're just kind of walking down here, kind of just part of the car show. Figured I'd pop on and stream for a little bit and show you. Now, this this is the other one that I always liked. The Corvette's got the split window. Oh, it's not even a split window. They used to have the split window ones, too. Look at that. Classic Stingray. Let's see. What else we got over here? Some newer Corvettes. Maybe some newer, newer Camaro. Yep, here's a newer Camaro right here. Look at this. This looks pretty good. Right here. I like that color on there. Now we got, oh, look at this. Here's a, uh, the R8 streetcar, not to be confused with the glorious R8 prototype that dominated at Le Mans for so many years. Oh, this Audi is so pretty. A lot of Roush Mustangs out here today, too. I noticed that seems to be a favorite around here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, there's a Mitsubishi Lancer for you rally fans. Uh, I always, always like the, the Lancer. The Lancers and the Subarus always had a pretty interesting uh, legacy in the uh, World Rally Championship. Here's a classic uh, Ford F100 custom pickup. Obviously, that's not a, it is a highly modified motor, if, I, if I'd ever have to guess. It is not stopped by any by any means. Uh, here's a uh, Chevy pickup. Kind of like the color, red, red orange. Oh, here, here we go. Here's another. Oh, hold on. Look at this. Here's a, a newer Corvette right there. Look at that. That's the C8 right there. Very nice. I, I like to offer this bus into, uh, into bus M21 also. <laughs> It's a 1934 Dodge school bus. <laughs> that looks in pretty good condition. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, Chris, I am too. It's it's been eight, it's been two years since I've been to a car a proper car show. Last time was at uh, uh, Greenwich uh, in Greenwich, Connecticut, for the Greenwich Concourse de Elegance. So it is nice to be, I mean, this isn't like concourse level, you know, kind of thing where they're very picky about what uh, is allowed and what's not or what they'll take and what they won't. But very, some very good stuff all overall. I'm gonna go sit here in the shade for a moment and get out of the sun for a little bit. It started to warm up for sure. So I'm gonna get the camera out of the, out of the sun for a few minutes get myself out of the sun for a few minutes I saw a woman who looks like she was about she could pop any moment walking around in the heat like just unbelievable like why would you in this heat pregnant you know look like you're about to about to burst any time now I would not be out in this heat I'm sorry no way um, uh Do a selfie. All right, yeah, I'll do a selfie now. I'm in the in the. Uh, there we go. I gotta protect my blue eyes. Otherwise, people might start getting a little too too uh, touchy feely about my blue eyes. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, it's it's really cool to be out here. Uh, really glad I decided to come today. Uh, 
I, I, I feel good that I missed the, the cruise in because I just, I don't know, I, I didn't feel safe in the area. I feel safe here right now because it's, there's, you know, plenty of police presence. Uh, I don't think they're going to let anything um, bad happen to the uh, spectators or whatever. Uh, I just didn't feel comfortable. I don't know the area that well being down here till, till the late evening for the cruise in. Uh, and then also trying to get back to the hotel in a reasonable amount of time. So, um, but yeah, some really cool stuff. Lots of, a lot of Dodges, a lot of Dodges, especially the newer ones. The, uh, matter of fact, there's a green one over here. Let me swing the camera back around there. You can see it just next to the red beetle there. It's a green, yeah. So yeah, just all kinds of cool stuff here. So a little bit for everybody. They got some modern stuff. They got the, and the cool thing is, when I was walking around earlier, uh, coming up this way, uh, what I noticed is a lot of the older folks. It takes them back to like their high school years. You know, back in the fifties and sixties, high school, early years of college. You know, oh, remember so and so had this car, kind of like this one. And, you know, so it, it's a big memory lane kind of thing for them, which I think is really cool. A lot of the kids, you know, the kids are just ecstatic. They're just like, oh, look at this car. And they love a lot of the older stuff. They they do kind of gravitate towards the new stuff, especially if they have them like in a Hot Wheels version. But, um, you know, for the most part, oh, there, oh, there's a fire truck. <laughs> That's a kind of a newer one, but they do have like a, a line of, of classic fire trucks and ambulances down the street. I'm going to go check all that out here eventually, but um, yeah, it's just really cool to see everybody come out and just kind of appreciate all the different cars, even the pickup trucks. I mean, who would think a pickup truck like that would be a classic, but I mean, look at that paint job. It looked from here. It just looks immaculate, you know looks like it'd be fun to drive you know i wouldn't i wouldn't want to use it actually as a pickup truck but you know it's just cool to to see so uh yeah some really cool stuff i did see there was at least one jaguar e-type i think there might be a second one here somewhere uh which i was i thought was kind of cool something different i did see a alfa romeo gta or gtv one of the ones that, you know, uh, I think you can race it in GT Sport. Oops. Sorry, I don't mean to put my finger in front of the camera. Um, yeah, just all kinds of different stuff here. So, yeah, really cool. And the and it's been cloudy off and on. It, it comes in, then it disappears. The lighting has been very challenging to get pictures. I'm constantly having to change the settings on my camera to get a decent exposure. Or at least anything close to halfway decent so that when I process it, it'll come out pretty darn good. So, um, but anyway, yeah, I just figured I'd pop on for a little while. What I noticed when I got back to the hotel room or when I was waiting at the Winston O link, or when I did the short, oh, the O Winston, not Winston O, the O Winston link. I don't know why I still say Winston O. The O Winston link uh, uh, gallery, uh, yeah, the streaming really sapped my uh, additional battery that I have on my um, on my iPhone so uh, yeah but I'll, 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 I'll probably wrap this one up here I did a short one earlier when I got here I'll probably do another short one when I'm about ready to leave here in a couple hours or so still lots to see lots I'm, I'm trying to get as many pictures as I can it's one of the things that kind of brought me back to was the um, you know, whenever I've gone to concourse shows, people people don't really watch that you're trying to take a picture. They'll just walk right in front of you and, and just stand there. And then they'll turn around and go like, oh, I'm sorry. Like, you know, they didn't even, no sense of awareness at all. They just walk in front of you and, and do that. But <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, that's just, uh, so I just try to be patient. And, you know, I know some people probably already halfway inebriated at uh, noon here in Roanoke, uh, Virginia. Um, so I just try to, you know, let them do their thing and then I'll, I'll do my thing. So I'm going to zip around this little area that we walked down here just a moment ago. 
uh, get all the pictures I can and make my way up. There's still another street up here to the left that's got cars. And then there's a side area that's parked that's got a bunch of Dodges there. The uh, Chargers and Challengers. Uh, there's one really uh, tricked out, modified, heavily modified, looks like uh, Challenger. But uh, I'll try to, I'll definitely get some pictures of that. So, yeah, I'm just going to try and enjoy this as much as I can. I think it ends at about four. So I got about four hours left to try to get all the pictures that I can before. And, and some people might be leaving beforehand. You never know. Um, as it gets hotter during the day, some people might just be like, yeah, this is too much. So I'm going to head out. I haven't found the motorcycles yet. I found one on display, but I've not seen any other like Harley Davidsons and whatnot on display, but that might be in a separate area that I've not seen yet. So, but yeah, I'll try to get as much of the cool stuff that I can. So anyway, thanks all for popping in. Uh, glad to do a couple of, uh, 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 yeah, it, it's really good. Uh, Mick, a lot of people come out, you know, they brought their kids, they brought their dogs and everybody's just wandering around, uh, having a good time, you know, uh, so yeah it's just it's pretty chill atmosphere so far and hopefully it stays that way hopefully nobody does anything stupid and then the cops got to get involved and then it just turns into an ugly situation i hate to see that happen but uh you know as as the temperature rises temp temps flare up and you know uh somebody might say something stupid to somebody else you know and then it just gets out of control but hopefully everybody just keeps a cool level head and just um you know doesn't nobody bothers anybody about anything so um yeah so anyway i'm gonna pop off now and uh get around and, and take take some more pictures uh i may try to find a halfway decent place to have some lunch uh maybe if that deli's still open today i know it's like a street over so i'm gonna i'm gonna take a peek down there and see if they are in fact open i might pop in there and have me another roast beef sandwich while i can so it'd be nice to have two in a row. So anyway, that's going to be it for me. I'll catch you all later. Thanks for coming in and I'll see you. I'll, I'll definitely do another stream uh, before I leave uh, from downtown here. Okay. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.